वेलकम टू अर अकेडमी आई एम कृष्णा वर्मा अ वेरीफाइड एजुकेटर एंड दिस इज द सेकंड लेसन ऑफ द मैग्नेटो इग्निशन सिस्टम इन दिस लेसन आई विल डिस्कस सम एडवांटेजेस ऑफ द मैग्नेटो इग्निशन सिस्टम ओवर द कॉइल इग्निशन सिस्टम एज वेल एज सम डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द मैग्नेटो इग्निशन सिस्टम एंड हाउ टू अवॉइड दोज डिसएडवांटेजेस एज वेल एज आई विल आल्सो एक्सप्लेन द फायरिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ द इंजन एंड फैक्टर्स व्हिच अफेक्ट द फायरिंग ऑर्डर ऑफ द इंजन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट these are the contents of today's lesson first i will explain different advantages and disadvantages of the magneto ignition system as well as i will also explain the firing order of the engine and the factors which affect the firing order uh, order of the engine so i will cover these two topics in uh, this lesson so let's start our lesson with different advantages or the or the disadvantages of the magneto ignition system so i will start with advantages of the magneto ignition system over the coil ignition system this magneto ignition system is generally require less maintenance than the battery ignition system or the coil ignition system and this system is generally lighter in weight compared to coil ignition system and this system is also produce high voltage than the battery ignition system so these are the advantages of the magneto ignition system over the coil ignition system but this magneto ignition system is also has some disadvantages and uh, these are the disadvantages of the magneto ignition system see uh, this uh, we generally consider this magneto ignition system as the high tension ignition system where the high uh, voltage uh, transfer from the secondary winding to the distributor so in this uh, generally uh, in this particular system the high tension or the high voltage current is uh transfer from the secondary winding to the spark plug through the distributor so this the one advantage disadvantage of uh, disadvantage of this particular system is uh, high voltage current is difficult to manage in this particular system and uh, second disadvantage is is, is uh, uh, because of this high voltage current there is a possibility of engine misfire uh, due to the leakage so this is the second disadvantage uh, of this magneto ignition system we all also consider the engine misfire due to the leakage and uh, there are some solutions i'm also going to explain to avoid these drawbacks of the uh, magneto ignition system or to avoid these problems of the magneto ignition system uh, generally uh to avoid this particular problem or to avoid the engine misfire uh, these are the solution the first solution is uh high uh, this uh, high tension wire whatever high tension wire we are using uh, that should be properly shielded a shielded high tension wire should be used during the process this is one solution to avoid this problem and the another solution is using low tension or we can say to change the limit of the voltage in the secondary winding is also one of the solution and uh, uh, the uh, next or the third solution is uh, the distributor should replace with the brush contact if we use brush contact in the play in place of distributor uh, distributor so this will also helps to avoid the engine misfire condition so these are the changes which helps to limit the high voltage current into the system and it also helps to avoid the engine misfire so these are the some disadvantages and advantages of the magneto ignition system uh, another point which i am going to discuss here or we need to know here that is about the firing order of the engine this was all about the magneto ignition system now i am going to discuss here the firing order of the engine generally in case of multi cylinder engine if we are considering multi cylinder engine so uh, the order in which the cylinder fire or we can also say the spark which is generate in various cylinder at different time is called the firing order and this firing order we always consider in case of multi cylinder engine the spark which generate in various cylinder at different time is called firing order and uh, this firing order uh, the firing order of the uh, multi cylinder engine is always depends upon the number of cylinder that is why it is used in multi cylinder engine 
the number of cylinder can be more than uh, one uh, it can be three cylinder engine it can be four it can be five etc so this firing order is always depends upon the number of cylinder and in every engine uh, we always consider there should uh, or we uh, can say the every engine should fire once in every cycle and at every 180 degree rotation of the crank uh, the engine should fire a spark from the spark plug in case, uh, if we are considering the condition of four uh, cylinder engine so this condition is generally happen in four cylinder engine at every 180 degree of rotation of the crank the engine will fire a spark from the spark plug but if we are considering more than four cylinder engine so we'll consider less time less time we need in the case of more than four cylinder engine and there are some factors which we also consider uh, on, on this factor the firing order of the engine is depend so these are the factor on which the firing order of the engine is generally depends these factors are engine cooling uh, development of back pressure and engine vibration so i will explain one by one about these points so here i will start with the first factor that is engine cooling uh, see the common process or the common firing order of the engine is uh, should be uh, one two three four if we are considering uh, the common uh, pr firing order so the common firing order should be in in continuous way from first cylinder to second to third to fourth so the common firing order should be one two three four but here this firing order is not suitable for some condition this firing order can affect the cooling process of the engine see if we are considering uh, with respect to of engine cooling uh, generally when the first cylinder is fired into the engine at particular temperature and uh, after combustion process if we consider or it it generally happen uh, after combustion the temperature of the cylinder is get increased the temperature of the cylinder is always increased after combustion and after first cylinder uh, in the combustion after first cylinder or the firing after first cylinder if the second cylinder get fired if we are considering the firing in the second cylinder after first cylinder so because of that the space or the portion between the cylinder one and cylinder two get overheated and again after second cylinder if we fire third and fourth cylinder continuous in continuous way so in that case the space between the second cylinder and third cylinder or the space between the third cylinder and fourth cylinder get overheated this is in continuous way so this overheating uh, of the engine can affect the cooling system of the engine because of this overheating we can say the engine cannot cool properly if we fire the engine in continuous way in one two three four order but if the firing order is in alternate way it is not in continuous way uh, for example uh, after first cylinder if the third cylinder or the fourth fourth cylinder get fired and after that the second cylinder get fired so this overheating problem can be avoided the cooling system can work properly into the engine so these are some firing order for the engine cooling system the uh, the firing order should be in alternate way like uh, uh, here it is given for four cylinder engine it is one three two four and for three cylinder engine it is one three two and this is for six cylinder engine so if the firing order will be like this so it will not affect the cooling system of the engine now the second point is, or the second factor is the development of back pressure the second condition is related to the exhaust from the cylinder we generally consider exhaust from the cylinder in this second case uh, generally uh, after combustion we all we always consider the exhaust gases released from the exhaust pipe during the working of the engine so uh, if the exhaust gases released from the first cylinder after combustion into the engine uh, see if we are considering here the firing order is common common firing order that is one two three four as i told you if we are following the common firing order one two three four so after first cylinder uh, when the uh, exhaust gases will sweep out after first cylinder after firing into the first cylinder 
सो बिफोर और आफ्टर फर्स्ट सिलेंडर द सेकेंड सिलेंडर गेट फायर्ड सो वेन द एग्जॉस्ट गैसेज विल रिलीज फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट सिलेंडर सो बिफोर कंप्लीटिंग द एग्जॉस्ट इन टू द फर्स्ट सिलेंडर द एग्जॉस्ट गैसेज विल स्वीप आउट फ्रॉम द सेकेंड सिलेंडर ऑल्सो सो इन दैट केस द अमाउंट ऑफ एग्जॉस्ट इन द एग्जॉस्ट पाइप विल बी इंक्रीज and this problem will continue if we are considering the continuous firing order or the firing takes place in another cylinders also like in third and fourth cylinder so because of this uh, because of this problem we generally require larger uh, size of exhaust pipe to avoid this problem now if we are considering smaller exhaust pipe for the exhaust so uh, because of this Uh, the pressure into the pipe or, or in the smaller exhaust pipe will increase and this increased pressure will result the backflow problem so to avoid this problem uh, we can see or we can do this thing uh, after first cylinder the similar thing which i which we did in first uh, in first condition after first cylinder the fire takes place in the fourth cylinder or in the third cylinder uh, in alternate way so this problem of back pressure and the back flow problem can be avoided so this uh, by this way we can avoid the problem of development of back pressure now let's uh, see the third point or the third factor that is engine vibration so here you can see this diagram in this diagram this diagram is representing the arrangement of four cylinder engine here you can see 1 2 3 4 cylinder this is the order and uh, two bearings you can see the bearing a and bearing b and uh, a is the distance between the cylinder 1 and bearing a and uh, b is the distance between cylinder 1 and uh, bearing b so uh, if we are considering the firing in first cylinder if we are considering firing in first cylinder uh, so during the combustion in a particular cylinder the pressure into the combustion uh, pressure in this particular cylinder will increase so if we are considering the pressure generated into the cylinder 1 is p we are considering the pressure p is generated into the cylinder 1 so the load in the bearing a we consider p into a and the load on the bearing uh, b uh, in terms of first cylinder will consider p into b because of this pressure because of this pressure p so as per the distance or as per the concept we can say the load in the bearing a is less than the load in the bearing b so this is in uh, when we are considering firing in the first cylinder the load in the bearing a and load on the bearing b now if we are considering the fire is takes place in the second cylinder after first cylinder we are considering continuous firing order so now the uh, fire is takes place into the cylinder 2 after cylinder 1 so it result because of this firing order it result imbalance in load on the bearing into the second cylinder it result imbalance in load and this imbalance in load create vibration in second cylinder and uh, if we are considering continuous firing order like in cylinder 3 and cylinder 4 so after uh, cylinder 2 if we are considering firing in third and fourth cylinder so it will result severe vibration into the engine because of the imbalance of load in uh, or imbalance in load on the bearing so if we fire continuously uh, all the cylinder if we are firing uh, or we are considering continuous firing so it will result the severe vibration so to avoid the situation what we can do similar to others if we fire fourth cylinder after first cylinder so the load will be equally distributed on each bearing after that we can fire third cylinder then second cylinder or the second cylinder or the first cylinder so the firing should not be in continuous way to avoid the engine vibration problem and this firing order is also applicable for more than uh, more than four cylinder also this uh, this is not only restricted for the four cylinder this firing order should be uh, possible for more than one cylinder uh, more than four cylinders so this was all about the firing order thank you so much you can rate review and share this lesson this is my link you can follow me through this link on an academy thank you so much for watching